Hey everybody, welcome back to the Contingency Server. So it's been a little while since we've done a video. I said that on Twitter that I was going to do a video last week, and uh, yeah, it didn't happen because, well, just didn't have the energy, and every time I went to record it just wasn't turning out the way I wanted. So I decided to be productive. And by productive, I mean I hired a slave. So, um, Hi. <laughs> yeah. Sp uh, Micro Mac Comps here, uh, also known as Spock. Um, over the last little while since the big dig, uh, you may notice there's a big damn hole in my base now. <laughs> um, I basically dug the crap out of this. Uh, Evil Tony helped out a little bit and lent me a couple beacons here. Uh, just a couple of these. The five in the middle are actually mine. And uh, besides the hole, you also have a, you also have me in here. Yeah, there's a little peon down there that we'll see here in just a minute. But uh, <laughs> what you may notice is that there's a lot of glass there. Now, what I was originally going to do... This is going to hurt. <sighs> Not too bad. Um, what I was originally going to do was this, and just level the floor off just like the big dig. And then I realized, you know what? Big dig has it. I'm bored. And uh, you may notice this here. This is Creeper Blast. This Creeper Blast is thanks to that guy. You're welcome. Yeah, you didn't light up an area, and I got very lucky that I didn't get blown into the hole, by the way. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. By the way, for those of you who don't know, I'll go ahead and... Uh, do you have a pick on you? Uh, yeah, I do. There uh, you go. Go ahead and... I don't, I'm full on the picks oh. from the thing. Um, can you open that up and then replace it after I look in it? So just open up one of those cobblestone spots. Uh, for those of you who haven't figured out, you know, well, I didn't mean the whole thing. <laughs> I just meant oh. one, but yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're on the bottom level of the void. Uh, I'm this, so tempted to punch you. <laughs> yeah, I'm so tempted to see you go bye-bye. <laughs> um, yeah, so that is basically how we were able to get the beacons assemblies so low. Um, if you didn't watch my stream, you should have, because... It was basically me playing chicken with the void, and I lost quite a few Died times. Died several times, raged several times. It wasn't even rage. It was just more freaking panicking, like, oh, my <laughs> God. And then uh, Tracker, um, he came around and gave me the tip of just using the steps, and that actually worked out really well, and I stopped falling. I'd say you lose skulls maybe a little bit less with the step technique. Uh, basically, the step technique is... You would just stand there, you would get rid of the, you know, skull, get rid of the bedrock with the skull, that you would stand on there to where you're standing on the skull, and as soon as you break the skull, you drop down onto that block there where the step's at, and you almost always pick up the uh, skull. Well, I think occasionally the skulls would still just fall through, but it was a whole lot less stressful, because when I was doing the other way, oh my god, I, I like, I had sweaty palms, and it was hell. Um, <laughs> most entertaining and stream ever for other people, horribly stressful for people. And you made my eardrums bleed. Did I really? I can't even remember. I screamed at one point, I think, didn't I? Yeah, you screamed at me for accidentally busting oh, the Oh, well, yeah, dumbass rock. here deleted some <laughs> bedrock that he wasn't supposed to delete. I think it's somewhere around this area. We don't know, but he did not seem to understand the instructions that we were leaving the bedrock here <laughs> and, like, doing the layers below. So after I yelled at him, like, the second time where I actually screamed at him, um, he figured <laughs> out what we were trying to do. Um, for those of you who don't know, I do have Optifine on here, and uh, two reasons. Number one, if we were here with Vanilla, we're in 1.7 still, like you can see 1.7.10 up there. Uh, we're in 1.7 waiting for a stable 1.8 update. Well, Optifine, number one, makes nice connected textures, which looks so much better than the other glass, um, especially on stuff like this. And it also makes it so you can still see, because I got rid of depth, void, fog stuff. In 1.8, it'll be gone anyway, but, you know, for this video, you guys probably want to be able to see more than, like, like right now, if we were standing here, we wouldn't be able to see him. Like, that's how <laughs> ridiculous it is. You could see to, like, that bedrock piece, and that's it. it it's just yeah. obnoxious. Maybe so, to the one closer to me, but that's just yeah. about the pinnacle of it. Yeah, it's so absurd. So, needless to say, for video quality's sake, we decided, you know, Optifine's a good decision. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, so that's pretty much what we've been up to. Uh, huge thanks to Spock for this because he put in a lot of work down here. Um, last week, I was kind of just slow to get stuff done. Um, for those of you who don't know, when I work during the week, I'm pretty tired. And I don't really have the energy to do a lot of stuff during the week. Um, so, huge uh, shout out for you know helping me, dude. Appreciate it. Thanks. 
Um, he did a lot of the work down here. Uh, I'd say he probably got at least 60 to 70 percent of it done. Um, and then, you know, help me finish it up. And then after he got that done before I left out of town this weekend, I went ahead and glassed this floor over. Now, <laughs> to explain what's going to happen is we pl I'm going to elevate this area here, and if I can stay on top. And basically, I'm going to elevate this thing one level up with the red sandstone stairs in 1.8. And then I'll do another layer of orange glass or something up to this point of the beacon. And then down here, we're going to actually fully open this up to the void, because it just looks cool. <laughs> and if you fall on it, it's your own fault. It should be glassed over, so <laughs> hopefully no one decides to go trolley floor on my base, because they'll freaking get murdered. Um, <laughs> it's one thing to get trolley floored into lava for a temporary scare. It's another thing when you permanently lose your shit. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so then what we're going to be doing, and the reason this is orange instead of, like, a red. First of all, red next to Bedrock looks terrible. If you didn't know, it's fucking awful. Um, but we're actually going to put lava down here. Um, now, for those of you good with math, you're already going, yeah, you're an idiot. Um, the reason this is, uh, it's like 160 double chests of lava. I'm not exaggerating. I did the numbers on it. I basically did a squared room or whatever. And this is the point where Wout's probably just sitting there saying, see, we could use Pythagoras' theorem. <laughs> yeah, well, fuck that. I don't care. I'm rounding off at 160, and I think that'll cover it. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, this entire thing's going to be covered with lava instead of torches, which will look amazing. Uh, I think will be one of the cool floors. Um, I'm going to build these floors down, just like I've been building. Um, as you can see from the little dipstick measuring tool that I have. This is supposed to be like a five minute piece. Yep, that's already <laughs> gone. Um, so you got one level there uh, that's already built. This level here, two. that's three, four, five, and then this area would be open. Now I'm wanting this area to be a little bit taller than the rest of them, so I don't think it's that floor above is necessarily gonna come down this far. Um, it might be a little bit of a shorter floor, and I'm not sure, like maybe it'll be used for bulk storage or something. But I kind of want to turn this into kind of a Mines of Moria type feel where you have like nice long columns holding this thing up. And then we'll come out here and then we're going to actually use a bit of an influence from Zisto's uh, pinwheel design for how he did his branch mining down below the lens in Season 3 of Minecraft. Um, so we're going to do that and then basically th this is just going to be a huge branch mining area that looks really cool. So, yeah, um, everyone else does branch mines by kind of similar to that crappy little branch mine that you can see that we ran that ran into this area. Mm -hmm. I do branch mines by removing bedrock, putting glass in, throwing a ton of lava underneath it, building huge columns, and then making a huge area to do it in. <laughs> I'm beginning to think I'm playing this game wrong. <laughs> um, so, Only a little. Oh, God, well, I I'm sure the people watching this are just enjoying my suffering of this, but... Uh, <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, again, uh, big thanks to Spock for helping me out. Uh, Micro Mac Comp is Spock. We call him Spock here because his name is Spock. Sponicus? Sponicus. Sponicus. So, you, whatever, it's Spock now because we don't ever call him by his name. Ow, and, uh, I got hurt by thorns. <laughs> what? Do I have thorns? Yes, I do. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so, uh, again, thanks to him for helping out. Yeah, you hit me with that sword, you're going to die. I'll sick and boost on you. He logged in the other day. <laughs> um, but yeah, so thanks again for helping me out, and uh, be sure to check his channel out, guys. He's uh, been doing a lot more videos on contingency. I guess I yelled at him enough. <laughs> but uh, I quit my single player for this. Oh wow! Did you actually quit it? Yeah. Like I know you said that, and I wasn't sure. But uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and cut, guys, and we're going to go check out the uh, Wither Skeleton Farm because people keep asking about that a ton. And I can't freaking remember the video I was covering it on, so I'm just going to go ahead and cover it again in this video real quick and show the updates and all that fun stuff. Then after that, we are going to go, and I'm going to record a bunch of footage of me killing Enderman, because that will be the background. And then I'm just going to voice over the next or the final segment of this, um, which is going to be about the Microsoft stuff, which uh, as of today is now officially announced that you know they have bought or they're in the process of buying minecraft slash mojang or whatever um i was going to do my little video about it last week but uh it, it basically was just saying hey it's gonna happen you know get used to it and we'll see what happens kind of thing 
um, since now it's actually confirmed, and there's just a lot more about it going on, and I see a lot more stuff. Um, I kind of want to go over it a little bit more. So, in the final segment, I'm just going to kill a bunch of Enderman as background stuff, and then I'm just going to talk over that one. Um, because I realized last week it was real. Like, here's a pro tip: <laughs> don't try to farm skeleton or farm wither skeletons at our freaking wither skelly farm, and try to do a video. It's really hard. Oh my god, I was constantly being interrupted. It was ridiculous. Um, I even actually encountered the first time of in like survival Minecraft. I actually had a skeleton spawn with diamond gear on, and I have never had that happen in Minecraft before kind of thing. That was kind of cool. Um, mm -hmm. Makes no sense because all the areas we've had loaded for so long because we've been there, you know, you would think we would have encountered a level 50 or difficulty or whatever the heck the highest region difficulty thing is. You know, you think we would have encountered that and I would have seen it then. No. I saw it in the freaking Wither Skeleton Farm where I had, had it loaded for all of maybe an hour. So let me know when you figure out the logic between that one, behind that one because... <laughs> that makes no sense to me at all because the regional difficulty shouldn't have been that high. But it was kind of cool to see it. And then, of course, you know, I killed the guy because for some reason the skeleton was stupid enough to shoot the stupid zombie pigman. Then it mer was trying to mercilessly, mer mercilessly, mer whatever. Mercilessly. Mercilessly murder. Man, that's hard. Words. Um, kill. <laughs> yeah, exactly. English. Um, trying to kill. The, uh, I should, really should just be walking while I'm doing this. I could probably avoid the cut by doing that. Oh, that's bad stuff up there. Never mind. Um, so, yeah, anyway, trying to kill it. So I hit it with my looting sword so I could at least try to get some of its armor. And then it dropped some diamond armor, which it was like a, like, two-thirds destroyed diamond chest plate. whoop de freaking do Either way, it was cool, <laughs> and I got a video of it. And I'm still not going to put it on here because it's really just not entertaining any of it. I even at got a video of me. the section where you found it? Huh? At least to the section where you found it? Nah, I'm not even going to bother putting it in because it's, it's just boring content and <laughs> no one's going to want to watch it. I even recorded the video of me reclaiming the stuff and I was like, man, this is going to be challenging. Yeah, that was the most boring video ever. It wasn't even remotely hard to get that chest plate off of him. And then when I realized it was that damage, I was like, well, that wasn't even worth it. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, so we're going to cut here. We'll go to the skeleton farm. You guys can see that. And then we'll head over to the end and I will do my discussion. So... Thank you for watching, guys. I will... Wait, why am I ending this video? You are an asshole. You distracted me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in a second, guys. Say bye, Spock. See yeah. Anyway, guys, we're back. Um, I want to go over something real quick while we're on our way to the farm anyway. Um... Hopefully we don't have too much of a terrible frame drop here. Uh, we are back on regular Minecraft. Uh, for some reason, the other version got locked up on me, so I had to reload the client anyway. Um, again, thanks to Spock for the help on the Blocko. That was really, really awesome. Um, so, in the Big Dig video, a little ways through, I posted something to see how many people were actually watching what was going on, because I was curious to see how many people were watching the content. And... Uh, Unfortunately, not as many people were paying attention because there was a little bit of a Easter egg in there. And I'm probably going to start doing Easter eggs more often. Um, don't worry, in this video there won't be any. Um, just because I'm not going to really mess with it too much kind of thing. But in the future, you know, there may be Easter eggs and they might be related to stuff getting on the server at some point. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Um, so, basically, I want to give a shout out to uh, Burning Crab... Goostin13, Luki Luki21, Desi22, Silent Dog, Cyapod, uh, let's see, Horiyu, or oh, I always screw it, and Lego. Um, I also want to give an honorable mention to Koopa Freak. Um, he actually tried his butt off to get numbers right, and the whole goal was to see how much you were paying attention to the video, and, uh, you ended up, I think, getting stuff wrong the first time. I think you might have got something right the second time. I can't remember exactly, buddy. But uh, I do want to say good job to you. Uh, you definitely get an honorable mention. You're not 100% correct, but damn, you're close enough. Um, you, and you clearly were doing what I was hoping for. Um, now, uh, there was also a code on there. I hope you guys, you guys wrote the code down uh, because that is a code that will be related to, you know, uh, a quiz question later as well. Um, wait a minute. 
Uh, that's got to be a glitch. We're still in 1710, so let's see 1710. Um, everyone else sees this, right? Like this. this. Like, I don't even want to break this because I don't want to mess with the whole. What the heck is going on? Okay, I'll investigate this later. It might be. I don't think it's my resource pack, is it? I mean, I have my vibes improved, but that really shouldn't affect that. Okay. Uh, well, if anybody can explain that, that would be fantastic because I'm entirely confused now. Uh, anyway, this farm is our Wither Skeleton farm. Uh, this was done by Palladian PD very early on in the server. We actually used this to uh, get uh, all the skulls that we have. Oh, no, no, we don't want that jerk. God, now we really need to stay away from this because now he's just going to create more spawning pads and stuff. Okay, we're just going to head back so we don't end up doing any damage over here and creating more problems out here. But um, basically, he built this and then did a lot of slabbing, and Dreth Z, I think, actually helped out a lot with slabbing as well. And then if you come down here, uh, basically, you just do the typical looting stuff. Come down here, more looting. I don't have much supplies on me, so I'm not going to screw with it right now. But uh, obviously, spawn rates are pretty low right now because it's just me. Um, but when you load up a few alts out here, this is really confusing me. Like, this is so incredibly confusing to me, and I only have, I'm afraid to investigate it and have to tear stuff up and create more of a headache. Um, but anyway, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, nothing super special, but, you know, we've been able to get freaking hundreds upon hundreds of skulls out of this thing. Uh, I think, like, freaking Pal has, like, two stacks at least or something like crap like that, and God knows how much we lost at the farm. Um, so yeah, that's, I just wanted to show that to you guys, and uh, we're going to go ahead and cut here again. So again, thanks to everyone who watched. Uh, be sure to look out for Easter eggs in the future. And this is our very basic weather farm that we've been using since like early on in the server. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the end here in a minute. And okay, guys, we're back. Um, I'm actually not going to do a voiceover. I'm just going to kind of talk about this topic as we go and see how long it draws. Um, I'm pretty sure I can handle doing the Enderman thing. Though, I am going to make sure... Well, I can adjust the audio later if needed. But, um, yeah, so we're just going to go with it. Screw it. And did I put more in here? Yes, I did. This is actually, like, massively overkill for what we need, but whatever. Um, for those of you who are wondering what I'm doing right now, I'm, well, not basically, I am just, uh, well, I might as well grab that because I'm going to need that. Um, I am going to be repairing picks. So I've already done a bunch of picks. I'm going to work on repairing this double chest now and work on that tonight. Um, to do that, we wear the picks down to 1,111. And to do that easier is, if you notice, hit an Enderman, and it takes two durability off. So basically, I'm gonna sit here and use my macro to just motorboat through these Endermen. Uh, you may wonder why there's so many Endermen. It's because I do have my two alts in the end. I have them in separate corners of the island. Actually, one of them's out on a bridge really far out where we unloaded the dragon. And um, boosting the crap out of the rates because there's nowhere for Enderman to spawn over there hardly at all. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, and we're going to go ahead and put my resource pack on so you guys can continue to see. Otherwise you'll lose your mind. Vibes improved. Um, so basically this is just going to make for clear XP so you guys can actually see. Then we're going to go ahead and grab a pick. And grab a pick that we're going to repair. And put it there. So uh, the thing we were going to talk about today is the Microsoft acquisition of Mojang or Minecraft, probably Mojang, I assume, from what it sounds like. Um, basically, it's, I mean, I, I, oh, if you guys can't stand hunger damage, you may want to just turn away now, <laughs> um, because I'm not going to eat during this process, because there's just no reason to. Um, but basically, um, you know, it makes perfect sense. Uh, when I looked at the numbers and everything like that, um, uh, Gotta be careful about durability, that's the only thing that's annoying about doing this while talking to you guys. I guess I could really just do the pick wear downs later, because I think I have enough to last me. Yeah, I got enough to last me, so I'm not going to screw with the pick wear downs while I'm talking to you guys, or I'm going to end up getting distracted a lot. But, uh, stick to the thing that doesn't kill you. Um, 
But basically, you know, for two and a half billion dollars, which is what the number is, I guess it sounds like, uh, I haven't read anything official, but I'm assuming that's right because nobody's pr protesting that number. So, two and a half billion dollars, uh, Mojang's being purchased by Microsoft, they're going to take over it, yada yada yada. Um, the, the founders, leaders, head guys are leaving, uh, there's like three of them, main one obviously being Notch. Um, so, they're going to be leaving the company. And man, even with this macro, I'm still almost wearing down all the Endermen. Um, so, you know, it makes sense because you can't, we kind of looked at the numbers and, you know, revenues, they probably would have made about $2 billion as a company over about uh, five years worth of time. Like, these are rough numbers, just kind of ballparking stuff that we kind of figured out. And I'm really interested by business and stuff like that. So... When I looked at it, I wanted to see how plausible it is and everything like that. And, uh, you know, clearly, it, it's definitely something that can be done. Um, and so I think the price was actually pretty fair in that sense. Um, like, I really don't feel like, you know, people are like saying, oh, well, two and a half billion is too much or too little. Uh, I think it's actually right about the right price. Uh, at two billion, I feel, was the right price. Exactly. Two and a half billion might be a little on the high side for me kind of thing, but um, someone did post on Reddit a really good breakdown of how basically Mojang was undercapitalizing Minecraft, and while their number was a lot more generous with something like 25 to 30 billion dollars of potential value, um, and I don't necessarily agree with that, I think that, you know, 10 billion is a fair number. I, I think there's still money. I don't know if Minecraft itself, like, Minecraft itself probably isn't going to draw that in. I, I would be very surprised by that, um, because there's just not enough to it right now, and I think they've obviously, you know, kind of saturated things pretty well. Now, there are other things they could do to make more money, but, you know, we'll see if that is the case kind of thing. Like, I, it's just one of those things that... I think Mojang still leaves money on the table, and then you factor in the future of, like, Minecraft 2 kind of stuff and stuff like that, then, you know, there's the potential for, you know, a lot more money, and, you know, I think making over $10 billion is absolutely possible, which means that, you know, for being about the number that you would expect them to make as they stand now, continuing on their ways, um, without having to do anything else, you know, that's a good purchasing price for, you know, the guys that are selling it kind of thing, because they're getting, you know, pretty good value on their money. And then, you know, you figure for um, Microsoft, you know, they're looking to make, you know, four times the money that they're putting in kind of thing. So they'll make their money back and then 300% or another 300% uh, on top of that or whatever kind of thing. So 400% total, whatever. Anyway, um, so that seems like a fair deal for both sides. Uh, it's a good business acquisition if you're looking to make money, and it's a good number to get out on because it's about what you were kind of looking at making um, kind of in the state as is kind of thing. So basically you could have just cruise controlled it and got just about what you got anyway. And then this way, Notch no longer has the stress. Um, and there's a lot of stuff to go over on this, and I really don't want to get too much into it. Um, the idea that, like, I've seen some people saying, well, you know, the people that are spreading hate and stuff like that towards Notch, you know, that's why he got out, blah, 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 blah. Um, I don't think that's entirely accurate. I think Notch wanted out because this has become something he didn't want it to be from what he explained it as. Now, I'm sure the death threats and the psychoticness and all the ridiculous crap that was out there, um, and just the general hate and vitriol that was out there, I'm sure that didn't help at all. I mean, obviously, I don't expect that to help at all. But when it comes down to it, Minecraft became something that he wasn't looking to create. Like, or at least Mojang became that. And so, you know, I kind of understand this because I've been in positions where I've done jobs that are jobs that I don't necessarily feel are a good fit for me. And instead of just sitting here, you know, creating... A headache of me in a position that you know people are just sitting there like man you clearly have no idea what you're doing um, and just the stress that creates I mean I, I still have this problem with my job you know there's times where I feel like I'm way out gunned here kind of thing and I uh, don't know if I'm the right guy for what I'm doing kind of thing and that's incredibly stressful on me um, you know when you have that much pressure on you kind of thing and I'm small games like I'm in a little tiny like like puddle in the freaking yard after rain compared to like what Mojang or what Mojang and Notch and all that's become. So 
I mean, I can't imagine the amount of stress he's feeling if that's if he's in that kind of like area. Like, man, like try a billion fold for me. So, I can understand why he would be ready to be done with it. Um, the markings on the wall very very clearly last week. Um, I, I mentioned to quite a few people in private that basically it was done. Um, I mean, it was pretty obvious. I think by the way things were being handled that it was going to happen, kind of thing. And um, I did have you know some information coming in from pe from multiple places, kind of thing that were confirming what my suspicion was. So that was kind of like that sucked. Uh, like I, I didn't like hearing that. And I, like I never want to ever 100% confirm anything because you know humans and the general fact that like. I, I, people can change their mind, but like it, it was one of those points where I was like, you know, uh, I, I'm I'm giving a little bit of hope that maybe this won't happen, kind of thing, or this is something ridiculous. But realistically, like I, it was pretty obvious that it was going to happen. So yeah, uh, obviously it became true today, and I don't consider it a bad thing. Like everyone's freaking out about Minecraft and uh, Microsoft being or buying it. Um, Here's kind of the thing. I haven't had anyone around me say they were going to quit just because Microsoft bought it, which is cool. Um, I'm hearing about people who are saying that they're going to do this, which is stupid. Like, I mean, I guess if it's your personal beliefs and values and such, okay, then so be it, I guess. You know, thanks for the contributions and thanks for your time and uh, good luck in the future ventures and all that stuff. But... You know, I, I don't see, like, I, I kind of feel like this is not the right reason to be in Minecraft if you're, like, I don't know, it just doesn't seem right. Like, I'm here because I love doing this stuff. I mean, seriously, I, I'm sitting here killing this many Endermen. For those of you who are curious, if you want to know how many freaking Endermen I've killed, I put up 34,000 yesterday on stream, and we put up another 4,000 on top of that. So we're easily going to break 400,000 Endermen before we're done with, like... Enderman killing, I think. Um, pretty confident in that, because we still have two double chests. And we're pretty close to about 30k away, so... Um, anyway, um, I, I think that's nonsense. The idea you're just gonna jump ship this early, kind of thing, without any real good reason, I, I kind of feel like you're just looking... Like, I feel like it, this is the same thing that I kind of feel with the whole um, you know, Old Man Wilkers leaving Play Minecraft thing. I feel like it's more of a scapegoat than a valid reason kind of thing. Like, or I shouldn't say a valid reason because everyone has valid reasons and stuff. But like, I feel like it's it was already kind of happening, and now this just gives you like a good excuse or like reasoning or that or the final straw that kind of thing. Like, it's not necessarily an excuse, but it, it's kind of here's the door, here's the opportunity. If you want out, go ahead and get out now. Um, and you're kind of already heading towards that door before it existed. So, yeah, you know, good luck to you. I think that's nonsense. I mean, I'm still going to keep doing this stuff until I'm told I can't. And, I mean, I don't intend this to be my living, so I have the benefit of that. Now, I do have friends out there who I have talked to that, you know, they are trying to do something with YouTube. And, you know, the idea of them possibly losing their livelihood. Like, there's other people who are, like, I've heard some people say, well, you can simply just stop creating content. Unfortunately, some people who've built their living off this can't exactly just stop making content. Now, I would hope if you're that level of successful that your character and you, like, you've developed your character enough that it translates to other games, along with the fact that I would hope you've diversified your portfolio. <laughs> Basically, Minecraft shouldn't be the only game you're playing if this is a living, because you should know Minecraft has a shelf life, just like every other game out there. Um... So, yeah, you just, you have to be careful with that stuff, and I feel bad for those who are really trying to do this for something, and now, you know, they're potentially looking at a form of, you know, income, or, you know, part of their life, and their work, and their energy, I mean, like, I mean, to give you an idea, I mean, going back to my stats page, I've put in almost 40 days of play on this server since November of last year. That's a hell of a lot of time, guys. That's almost a month and a half of time. Oh shit, my levels. Um, that's a month and a half of time. Think about that. I mean, I put in over 10% of my year into this server. So, damn, that's a, that's a big ass number. And I know, like, nukes put tons into it, kind of thing. 
You know, so it would... I, I understand completely how bad it would suck to lose that. Um, that being said, I'm still not seeing this as a loss kind of thing. As long as, you know, we can still continue playing our thing. Like, say if Microsoft goes in there and just starts borking the crap out of everything. Just breaks the crap out of everything. It just doesn't work. It sucks and we don't want to play it anymore. I don't have to update. As long as I can keep playing my old school stuff, which, as far as I understand, really should be able to continue playing this old stuff then we really don't have a problem with that. Um, so yeah, again, you can see all the shadows on the ground if you guys haven't noticed. You can see all those dark little shadows. Yeah, that's all the experience that's flying around that you can't see. Um, but yeah, so I mean, it comes down to it, like, you know, uh, just, it's not worth, like, you know, I, I'll, I'll just not update. Like, I'm happy with the game as it is, you know, it's cool to get new stuff. I mean, a lot of people are driven by new stuff. But, you know, I still have so much I want to do in this current existing version, and the existing mods that are out there. I'm going to definitely go through and start, I'm trying to collect up some of this XP before it starts despawning. Um, but basically, I'm, there's so much stuff I still want to do that I don't need more updates. It's nice, but I don't need them. And if that's what it comes down to, then that's what it is. And I'm not going to sit there and worry about it, I'm just going to go about playing my game and having fun. And hopefully I can provide content to you guys. That, that's what it comes down to. Um, this actually is coming out a little bit shorter than I thought it was. I didn't really think I was going to be this short. But, I mean, guys, just sit down, chill out. Realize, you know, Notch isn't just going to sell. Like It's the same concept as Twitch. Twitch was like, well, I can sell to Google and this would be terrible. Or we can sell to Amazon, and they seem to be very... After my experience with Amazon, I completely support them. Um, they seem to be very much so customer-centric. And th they didn't feel that way about, obviously, the experience that Google gave YouTube. So, you know... That all being said... I think Notch would go into this knowing, hey... I want to go with a company that I trust, that I think is going to at least keep the general concept of what I think was successful about it, and has at least an idea of what this is about. Um, so I think he went into this with a good reason. This isn't just like, oh, hey, look, money! Because, dude, he was making plenty of money and didn't give a crap. So that's really what it comes down to, guys. you, you got to trust in him. Um, and be thankful for all the work he did. I mean, we got Legos on a computer that is just... Above and beyond what I remember Legos being. I've had far more, far more fun with Minecraft than I ever did in Legos, and I loved Legos. So my love for this game is unbelievable. Um, I'm not leaving. I hope no other contingency members will feel this need. I haven't heard anything from them. Though I believe Tony said he's done doing LPs and stuff. So I guess that kind of is leaving, but not really related to this topic. Um, but... I mean, we're going to keep doing our thing. We're going to keep doing epic stuff. We hope you guys continue watching and enjoying it. Um, a couple things I did want to go over um, before we ended this video is one thing I do want to mention, and I, this kind of, I guess, is being horish, I guess, now. Um, I've decided I kind of want to get to the point where I don't put any more money into the server. Um, I do put a lot of my time into it, and my time is, well, worth something pretty decent, you know. I make a living off my time at my job, so when I come home and don't spend time with my girlfriend, I would kind of like to, you know, actually have a justifiable reason to that. Um, so that being said, we are now kind of going over towards trying to get our donations to pay for our server. Currently, our server's monthly goal is $65 a month. Um, so... If you wouldn't mind uh, hopping over to the donation page, there should be a link below. Um, and if you wouldn't mind hopping over there and donating, you know, a few bucks, that would be appreciated. Um, I mean, I I'm going to ask for this every few videos, I think, because I would like to really support this, you know, server and everything. And, you know, continue doing the work we're doing without it coming out of my personal pocket. Um, because it's kind of at that point. I mean, to give you guys an idea... I've got to be, uh, I've got about two or three months worth of server payments from donations this summer, so I can definitely make it for a while kind of thing. Um, so it's not like, oh, immediate or anything, but I would appreciate any donations because the further ahead we can get, the less I have to bother people and the less stressed out I am about getting the server paid for. Um, but basically, guys, 
I'm I'm out seven hundred dollars in Minecraft costs alone. I mean, you know, you guys might have bought the game for like, you know, anywhere from fifteen to thirty dollars. And you might have bought a few accounts. Well, I have three accounts. I'm probably gonna have to buy a fourth account for various reasons. Um that's on me. So no big deal. But it's part of my Minecraft cost. But that's on my decisions and stuff. But running like the servers that I have and trying to make this community as awesome as I am and give this community as many tools as I can, um, you know, that's cost me a lot of money. And, you know, I'm at the point where I'm out. I've got to be out at easily $700. Um, I don't know if I've taken any money from donations at all. Um, I think I might have used it to buy a hard drive. And that's about it. And we're talking maybe a hundred bucks. Maybe. I think it was more like 80. 80 or 90 or something like that. So, uh, obviously, I'm not taking a lot of money out of that stuff. Um, and at this point, you know, it's all going towards paying for server stuff. So, if you guys can afford to help out, I would really appreciate it. Just uh, visit the donation link and, uh, you know, throw your money at me. Whatever, I guess. I... I I feel awkward asking for money, but, you know, we do a lot of hard work, and I would like to be able to con continue the server long term, and I'm doing my best to, like, drop down my cost with a fellow uh, Minecraft friend that I'm looking to possibly do some stuff with to help drop the cost down. Um, so I'm working on what I can to make it as cheap as possible, and at the same time keep the awesome flexibility of what our community is. So. That's pretty much it. Um, uh, I will be starting vacation next week, uh, which basically is going to be me getting my life together, uh, cleaning the room up, uh, getting some exercise going. So uh, there was going to probably be a few less videos in September because I'm pretty damn busy. Um, that being said, I might be starting a new mini series thing with a friend of mine. Possibly next week. Um, the details are not confirmed, so I don't really want to say anything about it. But that will be kind of cool if we can do that. Because it'll be something a little bit different. But it's still Minecraft, and you guys hopefully won't kill it. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, this has been a very long summer. Um, the Big Dig was a huge project. And a lot of growth. And a lot of new faces. And a lot of new people. And a lot of fun. Um... So this is kind of my summer farewell, guys. Um, it's it's winding down. It's coming to an end. Most of you guys are going back to school. Uh, and that project was huge. Uh, the Yola drama. The Bucket drama. The Microsoft drama. Drama, drama, drama. That is the theme. Oh my god, there's been so much drama. I actually haven't had drama. Um been a very very good summer to me guys and that is a lot of thanks to you a lot of thanks to my server members um so you know it's kind of cool um it, it's been pretty it's been pretty relaxed i gotta repair here and i i just want to say thank you for that uh, because that makes a huge difference and uh, yeah uh kind of what, i guess we're gonna end on a little bit of a solemn note uh, my great aunt did pass away a couple weeks ago. Um, it has been mentioned on Twitter. Uh, I wasn't close to her or anything, so it's not a big deal. And from everything I can understand, um, you know, it's a full, you know, rest in peace kind of concept. Uh, she she was fighting and losing really bad and not in a pleasant way. So, um, you know, uh, that it kind of sucks to lose a family member, but it's not a huge deal. It's gonna be a pretty relaxed thing kind of thing um, And now she's not suffering anymore, so I consider that a good thing um, But I do want to end this video um, It's a little tough to talk about but uh, we have a couple server members who uh, they're going through some tough times right now, and uh, for those of you who don't know, it's uh, Pixel Clef and Harmony. Uh, they're just kind of dealing with, you know, real life stuff, and uh, I, I'm not going to get into the details because it's not—it's their business, and I don't want—I don't know what they want out there, kind of thing. So I'm not going to talk about it. But for those of you who do pray, uh, those of you who are religious like that, um, 
or those of you who just believe in the power of, you know, positive thought being able to transmit and make people feel better and good things. Um, you know, keep them in your prayers. Um, throw them whatever support you can in my comments so they can see them. Uh, stuff like that. And, uh, really, I guess it, it, the only way I can say is I hope everything turns out okay. Um, with what they're facing, obviously, there's a limitation to that, so, uh, you know, I'm hoping for the best outcome for you guys, and for those who are watching, if you can, you know, send your regards to them for me, through my channel, however you want to do it, um, they're very, very good people, very nice people, and, you know, they're in a tough spot, a hard spot, and, you know, they can use all the support they can get, so... Uh, just send what you can for got for that guys. Um, just send it below, and I'll make sure they see it. But uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, again, thank you for a great summer. And uh, 1.8 hopefully is coming soon. We uh, we're waiting for 1.81, which obviously might be a little delayed with the Microsoft purchase. So I don't know when that's coming because I don't want to lose all my stats. And neither do other people on the server. So we're waiting for that. New members are coming. If you haven't heard, we're going to bring them on early. Hopefully in 1.8. That's again the key thing is 1.8. Um, so, lots of stuff coming, guys. Lots going on. Thank you so much. Uh, Pixel and Harmony. Best wishes. I uh, hope everything turns out okay for you guys. And uh, we're going to end the video there. Thank you guys. Take care. Have a good one. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.